Coronavirus has impacted all of our lives, the way that we live, work, shop, eat, socialize. I mean, everything has changed. Yeah, and those entering their retirement years are feeling that as well. Reporter Taisha Walker joins us live with that story. Taisha, people look forward to their golden years to travel, get outside, and enjoy life. Yeah, Keith, and many of these people that we're talking about are our parents and grandparents who have worked and saved and planned for these years only to have to postpone those plans even longer due to COVID. Michael Jeffcott is playing the hands the pandemic has dealt. It's not a question of not staying busy. It's just a question of having lost all the social interaction. The 75-year-old retired from a long career in landscaping two years ago. He spent the last year indoors, getting projects done around the house. Online shopping has made it so much easier. His wife, Judy Hodges, retired six years ago. She spends most of her days crafting, though she'd much rather see family. Three children, seven grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. So we've really enjoyed spending time with them, but it's been very limited since all of this happens. Brian Warwitz knows the friends would couple through a cycling group. They were all planning to take a cruise to Spain in 2020. Boy, this is not the retirement I dreamed of. But the pandemic had altered that too. Can't do any of that now. And so, like the whole last year, it's just, I think we're all going stir crazy. But particularly if you don't have a job anymore. I'm sure we'll take a motorcycle trip as soon as we can get back on the road. Jeff Cott and his wife are due to get their second vaccine shot next week. He says while their precautions won't change, he hopes their travel plans will by the end of the year. I'm sure as soon as we're comfortable, we'll be, we'll be on the road, um, traveling around the United States, lo looking for small towns and, and quite frankly, looking for some good dance halls. To Jeff Cott tells me that there is a couple that he and his wife trust that live in the area and that have been practicing the same sort of precautions and also have not visited with their loved ones. They are currently meeting right now for their weekly card game, which all of those parties look forward to each week. Reporting live in Friendswood, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Hope they're enjoying their evening. Thanks, Taisha.